colony of uh, it's very, very simple algae and cyanobacteria at the bottom of the food chain. It has a wonderful uh, property. You can see that it just holds so much water. Not only is it photosynthetic and provide food for all the animals above, but it also has this property of being able to keep things alive in it, like little worms and crustaceans and tiny shrimp eggs and fish eggs and so forth are in here. And uh, it only does well in a low nutrient environment. So uh, my poem has to do with that. And it's this paraphyton is as happy as can be as long as its water is nutrient free put phosphates and nitrates into its lair, and soon paraphyton won't be there. Without paraphyton, nature has no legs. What are the critters going to eat? Where are they going to lay their eggs? And not only that, it'll leave an open place, and the cattails and other plants will grow in its base. And the cattails will grow so stately and tall, they'll form an almost impenetrable wall, and the fish and the critters won't find a habitat. Yeah, the phosphates and the nitrates are responsible for that. Like cattails, they warn us of impending doom, because for peaceful coexistence there is no room. Providing clean water is the only hope, or else the Everglades may be at the end of its rope. Oh, that's, yeah. that's nice. So that's before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a couple of things you get to do. That's nice, Beth. Yeah.